With a built-in spell checker, it's easy to check your spelling before filing your forms in Essential Forms. You can spell check while you're working in a form, before saving and printing. Here's how. With a form open on the Open Forms tab, click the red SP spell check icon on the icon bar, or right click and click spell check from the drop down, or click edit on the menu bar, then spell check in the drop down. This brings up the spelling check window. The spell check settings can quickly be tailored to user specifications by clicking the options button. In the spell check options window, you can fine tune the spell check by checking the boxes based on your preferences. The spell check starts at the top of the form. When it reaches a misspelled word, the spelling check window pops up, offering the options to ignore, ignore all, change, change all, add if it's not in the dictionary, but you would like the word added and stored in the dictionary to be skipped in a future spell check, or cancel the spell check altogether. More in-depth spell check options can be accessed by clicking configure, then preferences from the drop-down, click the spell options tab. User preferences can also be accessed by clicking the yellow cog and wrench configure icon on the menu bar. If you want to save a form as a PDF to possibly email to a client or keep a hard copy in a client folder outside of Essential Forms, here's how. In the Client Information tab, open the client, click the triangle, click on the triangle next to the matter, then either double click on the saved form or click File Open from the menu bar or click the Open Selected Forms icon in the icon bar. Now you're in the Open Forms tab. Click File, Save as PDF. The confirm window for the spell check will ask you if you'd like to spell check this form before saving as PDF. Next, a save as PDF window will open with a file name preset with the form number and form name. You can select a location where you'd like to save the PDF at the top of this window by clicking the pull down. Once you set the location where you want to save the PDF, click the save button in the lower right corner of this window. You will get an information window, a PDF has been successfully created in the location you selected, click OK. The PDF can then be attached to an email or printed. It's recommended that you develop a routine to back up your database in order to prevent losing your client files if you should experience a hard disk crash. We've provided a simple utility to back up your clients, including the client database and saved forms. Here's how you do it. Click File on the top menu bar, and then select Backup Data from the pull-down menu. You will see the following information window pop up, asking you to insert the backup media if appropriate. After you've inserted the media, or if you're backing up to your hard drive or network drive, just click the Continue button. Next, you'll get the window asking you where you want to save the backup data. Select the appropriate drive location for your media, hard drive, or network drive, then click the Continue button. In the Select Backup folder, click Browse to select the folder you would like to save the backup. Click OK. In the following window, the location will be pasted in the window you just selected. Click OK again. Depending on the number of client files you have, this operation may take several minutes. When the data backup is finished, you will get the following window indicating that the backup was successful. Click OK and you'll return to the program. You can also use the Backup Restore Data Utility to move your entire client files to another computer. Or, in the event that you lose your client files, you can restore those clients assuming that you have previously performed a backup. Just be aware that it will overwrite any existing client files on the computer.